So I never thought I would want or need an Apple Watch. After all, it just seems like it's an extension of your phone on your wrist in like a watch format and I already have a watch and I already have a phone. So why do I need this extra device that I need to spend like 500 euros on? But then I saw that our health insurance company here in the Netherlands did so uh, actually as a program where you can buy an Apple Watch through them and you can get cash back on your Apple Watch so that it's paid off within 24 months by, you know, you accomplishing certain physical activity goals like doing workouts, like walking a certain number of steps every day. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, if I can get it for free, then uh, I might as well. And now that I actually have the Apple Watch, I kind of get it. I get why people like it and I get why people say it helps them to, well, be healthier overall because I have totally noticed the same things. So here's what I noticed. Well, first, one of the best apps that I have on the Apple Watch is the Water Reminder app. It does exactly what the name tells you. It reminds you to drink water or some other kind of beverage. Um, and I find that really convenient because I am super bad at drinking enough water and then, you know, I have a dry throat and I feel kind of headachey and then I'm like, well, why am I having a headache? And then I realized, well, I haven't, you know, I had any water all day. The app is actually really simple. It just prompts you once in a while that you should drink some water. It just tells you like, hey, your body needs water. And then you can just tap on the, you know, you can just tap on the watch what you're drinking and it will just store that and at the end of the day you can see how much water you've had it also syncs with the health app that's on the iphone and well actually i have managed to drink like a lot more water um, just by using this app so i think that's a really nice thing and yes i realize that you can just have this app on your phone and i tried that in the past but there's just something about these reminders coming like right to your wrist where they are not super obnoxious but you also see them right away and it's easier to interact with them that just makes me respond to them more so i guess that's cool i mean it's total gamification of like health so the next feature that i think is really cool are the activity rings uh, which are supposed to you know give you a more i guess holistic view of um, how much you're moving and what things you're doing for your health you know it just um, measures how many calories you burn by moving around, um, how many minutes a day you you move at you know a bit of a faster pace, and how often you're standing up because let's face it, most of us, probably all of us are just sitting way too often. And you can you know close the rings so every time you accomplish something towards one of those three goals, the ring closes a bit more and then by the end of the day, you can have all your rings closed and you're like super proud of yourself. You know, I had read about this feature um, before I got the watch and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I do feel like it actually motivates you to do something, you know, that contributes to you closing those rings, you know, to achieving that goal every single day and trying to get a streak going. And I mean, yeah, for me, because it's super cold outside and we don't go outside that often, that does mean that I just walk around our apartment like a lot and just, you know, go in circles around the kitchen table a lot. Um, but I mean, fair enough. It does actually, you know, prompt me to be physically active and to do something for my health every day. And um, I also feel like if I had that, you know, that same function on the iPhone, I, I don't think that I would pay as much attention to it as I would because it's, you know, less obtrusive at the same time, but it's also every time I, you know, I just want to check the time on, on the Apple Watch. I just see right there in the corner how far I am with these rings every day. And um, then it's like also always a constant reminder that you should be doing something. It also just makes going outside and doing things outside, you know, like jogging or going for a bike ride kind of more enjoyable because you can just track it really easily and you get a lot of data after you're done. You know, you, you see what your heartbeat was like, you see how fast you were, how long it took. You see like a map of where you went, which I think, you know, I'm obsessed with maps. I love reading maps. So that's really cool to see. Um, and I had, you know, apps like Strava before, um, you know, when I was just on the road bike and that's nice. For some reason, you know, this whole integration of everything into the health app and uh, activity rings, you know, just all kind of comes so seamlessly together with the Apple Watch that uh, it makes it a lot more enjoyable to use. And well, that means if it's a lot more enjoyable to use, you're more likely to go outside, you're more likely to do something, you're more likely to, you know, be just that bit healthier every single day. 
um, and that I appreciate, and I think that's actually already worth the, the price of the watch, to be honest, but if I can get it for free, that's of course even better. I also customize the watch face to show me other kind of information that, you know, can help me to be a bit healthier, a bit more active. And a thing that I found really useful is um, this little dial that shows you uh, like where the sun is. So, you know, if it's closer to sunrise or closer to sunset, and it really always helps me to gauge for how long it's going to be light outside, which is really helpful right now because here in the Netherlands, like sunset is at like 4.30. Um, so, you know, I see on the watch, I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty close to sunset. Um, maybe I can just go outside, you know, walk for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, before it's super dark and depressing outside. And that's, you know, just another kind of nudge to, um, to go outside and do something. One of the features that I was actually most excited about um, when I had ordered the Apple Watch and it wasn't here yet and I was doing a lot of research on the Apple Watch was sleep tracking. I frequently have not that great sleep, which mostly stems from us not going to bed early enough and then getting up quite late and then we try to go to bed earlier and you know, then we try to get up earlier, but it doesn't really work. And then we don't have a lot of sleep. You know, it's just, yeah, you guys know the problem, it's awful. Um, and you know, I usually was just like, yeah, I feel shitty in the morning. Like I didn't sleep enough, duh. But now I can actually on the watch or rather than on the health app, um, see how much did I sleep? Um, was it good sleep? Did I sleep deep or like more shallow and you know, just, try to tweak things like going to bed a bit earlier, maybe drinking a nice cup of relaxing tea before going to bed and see what kind of impact that has on the quality and the length of my sleep. Now, I do want to make the disclaimer here that the sleep tracking function that the watch offers in its like vanilla version, um, you know, just what you see on the health app on the iPhone is not very useful, I feel. It just tells you approximately for how long you have been sleeping. But for me, that more corresponds to the time that I spent in bed which we all know is not, you know, the time that you spend sleeping. So I downloaded a third party app called Auto Sleep, which I think is more helpful, but I sometimes also doubt, you know, the accuracy of what it's measuring. I know you can adjust and kind of tell the watch, you know, no, no, I was still asleep then. No, no, I was like, I don't know, but I don't know. I feel like it should be doing that by itself. And I'm also like, especially during sleep, like, how should I know how often I don't sleep very deeply? I'm like, this is what the watch is supposed to tell me. So what I'm saying is that the sleep tracking function, I feel like is rather coarse, um, but it's better than nothing. It's clearly better than just guessing. And the last health benefit I realized I got from the Apple watch is that I am less distracted by my phone and I use my iPhone way less overall. I think that's because, you know, you get the notifications, for example, from WhatsApp, iMessage, whatever, you get it right on the phone, you can react right there. Um, and then you just get on with your day and you don't pick up your phone. You're not, you know, suddenly on Twitter, you're suddenly on Instagram. And then 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, you're like, oh, I was working. I was actually not, you know, trying to browse my timeline right now. And of course it's, you know, still a bit disrupting to get a notification, you know, especially if you have the sound enabled, if it might, you know, vibrate or something, but it's way less than if I just pick up my phone, then, you know, on the watch, it's just, I don't know. It feels like it's more right in your face, but it's also less distracting. It's really weird, but I do use my phone less, which is also one of my goals this year. So that's pretty good. Of course, not all is rosy about uh, about the Apple Watch. I still think it's it's very expensive. It's of course limited to the Apple ecosystem. Yeah, so if you have Android, as far as I know, there's not really an easy, convenient way to use the Apple Watch. The battery life could be better. It's um, it's okay because usually when I shower and stuff, I charge my Apple Watch, and now it doesn't take that long to charge. Maybe like three quarters of an hour or so. But still, if the watch would maybe you know, have battery life for two days rather than just one day, I think that would be, that would be nice. So please Apple do that. Of course, these things don't have anything to do with health, but you know, just for balance, I also wanted to say that it's not like the best product ever, just like any product, certainly any Apple product, it does have its flaws, um, which, you know, may or may not be picked up and resolved in the next iteration of the watch, who knows, but you know, for me, you know, getting the watch for free essentially, or rather being able to pay it off over two years, yeah, sure, fair enough. So thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more of our content, um, which is not always Apple product related, it's a lot of house related and like recently and just things that have been going on with our lives, but also with our health. For example, my journey to combat acne using Accutane up here, then be 
be sure to subscribe to our channel, then you'll be informed when we put out new content, which this year, as one of our resolutions, is also going to be more and more frequent. And so I'll just say, see you in our next video.